Here's what you missed on Fathead and Candy in the morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1. My Country 96.1, Fathead, Candy Roth. Uh, just great news and wonderful weather there. 50 and sunny today for a travel day for a lot of people. And then uh, tomorrow, Thanksgiving, 52 in sunshine. And I know we've been saying it a lot this week, but it's really the vibe is so good uh, because when we get together for Thanksgiving, right, you go to your friends and family house. It's so nice to have the nice weather to be able to open a window, go to uh, the backyard. go you So know. nice. So, yeah. so nice. So you'll be able to do that. Uh, yes, the house I'm going has a screened-in porch. That's lovely to sit. It's going to be great. Beautiful. Very, very nice. Uh, and, of course, always helps the uh, the smokers in the family, Candy, who need to go outside. And yes, that would get, be Brian, I'm afraid get, to say. Oh, boy. Get their uh, – I didn't even know that. I'm just, yes. just saying it because uh, I know there's uh, – you know, they need the good weather to go out and catch their uh, cigarette every now and again. But uh, the weather looks great. How was your evening last night, Candy? My evening was good, quiet, uneventful. I oh, that no – no preparation? No Thanksgiving uh, preparation no, at all? No, I'm just visiting. I ordered my uh, the cakes that I'm bringing. I'll pick them up at the bakery later today. Brian cooked. I did nothing. My oh, perfect well, evening. Very nice. See, I didn't know if you were, you know, spending a bunch of time cooking and bringing stuff over He's, to Ellen's. I'm uh, making a pumpkin pie today to bring tomorrow, and I ordered uh, this fabulous blueberry bundt cake that this bakery by me makes. It's beyond good. You know, That's it. That's all I'm doing. Maybe I a bottle of wine. Excellent. I, I I sort of knew the dynamic that goes on there in your house, but now it's like really <laughs> crystal clear. I mean, I have the whole visual. You're on the couch buying I things. I say to him, honey, <laughs> is there anything I could do to help you prepare this meal? Stay out of the kitchen. Oh, yeah. don't, don't worry yourself. I'm sounds like, okay. like the plan. That sounds Yay. like the plan. Right. That's funny. Uh, yesterday, uh, Dana... Uh, did uh, cooking that she uh, needed to do. She has the most incredible mashed potatoes ready for uh, my sister's house, Candy. Oh, now how will you heat those? Uh, well, <laughs> it's funny you bring that up. So It's always uh, the dilemma. Right. So first of all, the most fabulous mashed potatoes you've ever tasted. They are the most unhealthy mashed potatoes you'll ever have. Don't ask what's in there, because it's like a jar of sour cream and, and blocks of cream cheese. And it's just, it's fantastic. Uh, so I text my sisters, and, and I told them, uh, you know, we got the mashed potato. Now, and by the way, it was not like they called in desperation and asked for mashed potatoes. They're, my sister's making sweet potatoes with marshmallow. But that's okay? not enough. You have to right. have so right. I don't want to have this conversation again. Agreed. Agreed. You have to have mashed potatoes. Uh, so long story short, uh, I said, hey, you know, uh, going to have to heat them up. I don't know if I have sternos. I can look, whatever. Because my sister uh, said that, you know, with the turkey and all the other sides. It's very difficult. Don't right. bring a dish that has to go in the oven. But then I found out that the turkey is going on the grill. Well, that's different. My brother-in-law is doing the turkey like on a spit or something on wow. the on the barbecue, like a rotisserie chick, uh, chicken. Dare I way. say? Dare I say? Almost like a barbecue tom scenario, Ooh, Candy. You are just lucking out left and right. I know. Well, uh, I, I gotta see a picture of that. Yeah, I will. I will get you a picture. So uh, there'll be room for the mashed potatoes to get uh, heated up. And by the way. Just a side note, we are not opposed to, if there's no room in the oven, uh, get a bowl. My sister can get a bowl, dump in a whole bunch of mashed potatoes, heat it up in the microwave, and when we need more, dump more mashed potatoes in the bowl, heat it up in the microwave. That's fine. Do you know how many potatoes she used? Um, I don't. I am sorry. I would like to know that. And who did all the peeling of the potatoes? Ah, she's got one of these automatic peeling machine oh, things. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, like you put it on the spit or like whatever it's called. You put I it know on what you're talking about. Yeah. Oh, very clever. Mm -hmm. But they are uh, just fantastic. And, okay. and she baked uh, cakes and cookies. Uh, my parents' anniversary cake has been... Has been baked candy. Oh, nice! And, and uh, so we have a giant 
uh, a big crumb cake, a big brownie cake, and a whole couple boxes of sugar cookies we're bringing over there as well. So, mm. yeah, dessert All is right. uh, is covered for sure. I like it. I like mm -hmm. it. All right. I got yeah. to see the spit with the turkey. By the way, the best part of all of this was um, I was so exhausted yesterday afternoon before I had to go pick up the kids at school. Um, I took a like an hour long nap on the couch while she started the baking and the mashed potato process. And when I woke up, I got to taste test the mashed potatoes. Mm, the house yes. smelled really good. Oh, so nice. It was. Let me help. I'm not mm. sure. It might need some. Let me take another little taste. Well, that's what, you know, it's funny because when I give her the feedback, I have to preface it by saying, you know, the potatoes are great. They taste great. Don't get me wrong. It's fantastic. Like, I have to go that route first. But then I throw the butt. I'm like, but it needs oh, to be a little creamier. It, <laughs> right? it needs a little. And then so we figured it out because I, I was very specific with her. I said, you know, the taste is good. The amount of salt and everything else tastes good, but there's something, there's like a creamy aspect missing to it. Oh. And then and then a light bulb went off. She said, you just reminded me. The creamy aspect is missing because I forgot the sour cream. Oh, so, my God. Then she mixed in the sour cream. She, see? You could be a professional taste tester. I really, that's my favorite job. I could probably <laughs> do it for a living. I'm I not really sure. Could. I need to taste that one more time. Yeah, yeah. Right. It was. Well, you it were was very a good, helpful. Good afternoon. Uh, uh, you know, uh, by all. Yes. Yeah, and we're ready. Something. Yeah, to, and and uh, and tonight, while uh, some people are going out for the biggest party night of the year, Thanksgiving Eve, uh, I'll be. Uh, you know, we'll be relaxed. Yeah, those days are long over for me. Oh yeah, that ain't happening. That, no, I'll, I'll probably be asleep by nine thirty, ten o'clock, and. Ready for the parade the next morning. We'll be exactly good, good to go. Oh, or maybe I'll drop turkeys out of a helicopter. For do you remember that WKRP episode, Candy? I don't. Oh my God! It's one of the most famous episodes. Uh, WKRP in Cincinnati. One of one of their Thanksgiving episode. They thought it would be a good promotion for the radio station to drop turkeys out of a helicopter. For people, that and is very funny. Les but Nessman quite was dangerous. Oh, it was dangerous, and Les Nessman was reporting on the street. Oh. And he's like, "Turkeys can fly. Turkeys oh can my. fly." That sounds uh, so funny. I, I'm, I gotta find that show somewhere and see that. You go to YouTube and you'll yeah. you'll find it. We'll, we'll dig right. it out. Seven thirty special song. Uh, less than an hour to your bald and the beautiful entertainment. Everything from Nashville to Hollywood. Uh, we will uh, get to that at about 8.12. By the way, coming up, um, I finished the Pepsi documentary. Uh, we'll get oh, to that. Oh, good. I want the ending. I have some Thanksgiving stats uh, for you we got to get to. And what is Budweiser doing with all the beer that they now cannot sell in the World Cup? Remember the country... It, Qatar? Cut. Is it Qatar or Qatar? How do we pronounce it? I think it's it? Qatar. Okay. Well, uh, I know I hear different people pronounce it differently. I could but, be wrong. Um, so uh, Budweiser, you know, they're not selling beer at the stadiums uh, in Qatar. So Budweiser shipped all the beer over. We will tell you their idea and what is happening with all that beer candy. Ah. Yeah, we got that story for you. Um, sunny, beautiful 50, Thanksgiving 52 and sunny. Let's hit the roads. My country, 96.1. Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country, 96.1.